Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and we got a little problem. Hey folks, this is AJ the CEO. This is your first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on the channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So what's the problem? Well, I stopped by church today and it looks like our pro presenter computer was dead. Um, it wouldn't respond. It wouldn't turn on. Um, not sure if it's an electrical issue or it's actually something to matter with the computer. I'm leaning towards electrical just because we've been having so many over the last two and a half years, we've had to replace like piecemeal replace parts inside of our system. So in prep for just in case there's a problem, I'm just going to go ahead and build out a brand new system because worst case scenario it's cheaper to um, build a new computer than it is to find a whole electrical issue inside of our media booth and with the potential of having to change stuff out so we're going to go ahead and build a presentation pro presenter presentation system um, for my church so let's cut over to the computer all right i'm going to be shopping here on new egg to just price out some stuff and get a good idea of what we're going to be working with in my previous video we recently installed a deck link mini monitor and we're using the sdi ndi out for pro presenter so we're still going to maintain that inside the system we moved over the 3200g um, processor in there and and it's running on a X370 motherboard. So I don't think the processor is the problem. So in this build, I'm gonna keep the processor, but with the contingency, if we have the same issue again, um, that would be one piece that I would need to switch out. So let's go ahead and start with our motherboard. And I'm honestly, I'm if y'all been seeing any of my bills, you probably know what type of motherboard I'm gonna get um because i've been using it on all my recent bills and it's been stable for me and i have no reason to jump to something else and that is the gigabyte b 450m ds3h um if there happened to be an issue to where the x370 which says it could support it's actually an asrock um x370 that i have in this system at church um it says it's compatible but if there was an issue, we're gonna go ahead and move to a B450 that we know is compatible with it because I've done that in multiple bills. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. Our memory is fine because we recently changed that to this exact kit right here, the G-Skill um, 16 gigabyte at um, 3000 megahertz. So we don't need to change that out. Mainly what we're changing out is the motherboard um, so that we can add in another graphics card just in case because um, what I want to do is move the 3200G back to our live streaming system and put another um, maybe a 15, uh, Ryzen 5 1500, kind of like what we did with our video editing system. Um, just want to see what the price is and put that in there because we're stepping up. We're just not going to just make a lateral move. We're going to go ahead and update it so it can last a little bit longer. Um, with that so let's go over here to processors now since that's what I was talking about and I know originally I said I wasn't going to change the processor but we're going to just move ours over and get a little bit more power out of it if we can so I'm going to look for Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3 and let's just see what price we come around so if I went with another 3200G um, which honestly I don't think I need to do um what i really want to do is similar to what we did um see like this is i don't, I don't need to do that if we're gonna go i want to go to a six core here so this is what we recently put in here um a 1600 rising power 1600 um i think this will work and it's on sale and we get six cores here compared to the four cores here um Yes, it's a slower speed, but we get more cores. And this is on sale, because this is what we originally had in the system, which honestly works fine. 
um, but like I said this is going away and yes this is an older one but I think we can get some good use out of that uh, let's see we could go to a 3400G but again um, that's still four cores and yes it's a different art well no this isn't a different architecture anyway I'm just trying to look to get the best amount of power now I could jump to this 2600 put this one in our video editing system take the 1600 and move it over which I think I may do um, so we can get some power but in all honesty we don't do that much video editing um, at least not yet at a church so I'm just trying to think which would be good let's go ahead and just add this just to see what the price is going to be because I do have a price limit that I need to stay under um, let's see what we got so we got this we just got two items so far all right not doing bad now what we need to do is a case um, now I really was thinking about going with the same case that I recently did the um, cooler cooler master one that I have on my my streaming system um, but again I don't want the case to be too big and bulky because this is going to set up on the desk um, ultimately if it's bigger I could put it on the floor and I may do that um, that should free up some more space on our desk and actually now that I think about it I might actually do that the one issue that I have is we still use our DVD drive in this system we're not a hundred percent ready to completely gut it so I need to make sure that whatever system that we have whatever case we get can actually have a um, five and a quarter bay uh, so let's see external five and a quarter we need at least one looks like our options are very limited with that let's go ahead and apply and <laughs> this is the exact same case that we already have for our um, live streaming system so I mean this will work I guess my whole thought is I really really wanted to have something with some other features like a bay oh oh I'm looking on the Corsair I know I was gonna say I should have had some more stuff let's get rid of this let's do this again we're looking for you didn't go back come on now micro ATX cases and let's go ahead and sort this well I want to get it from new egg and we're gonna go for the lowest price let's see and like I said we need to uh, well I want it to be new and we need at least one five and a quarter bay now I could actually just get an external but I just want I don't want to have extra parts laying around This is the case I normally used to use, but I'm getting away from that because I want the lower bay. All right, this is the same price. Let's see what this one looks like. And I really don't want to go over this budget. I'm surprised I don't see the fractal design cases in here. Let's take this off, let's see. Yeah, the fractal design. Now, this is see, this was the case that I went with. I don't know why. I mean, this is a bigger case. Let me just. This is 59. You know what? Never mind. We made our decision. So, this is a lot bigger. But that is fine. And what we're going to do is just have this setting on the floor under the desk where we're uh, working and make sure we get the one with the um, drive in the front all right so we'll add that 
So I don't think we need to do power or nothing like that. So I think we are good with this. So looking at that price, I might actually go back and drop this to the, I mean, I know it's only $19, but I wanna stay within a certain budget. So let's do that rising five, 1600. Honestly, that might be more power that's needed, but this is my whole thought. That's $100, but the Ryzen 4 3200G is $94. So for $6, we can get more cores. So like, let me, let's go ahead and just add this to our compare. And then we're gonna do the 3200G. Get that to compare. And then we'll just even throw in the 2200G because that's uh, honestly still a good option if you can find those available. All right, let's compare these. See, these are $10 cheaper. No, not recommending that. I say they even recommend the 2400G. No, why are you giving me all these recommendations? Um, all right, so let's look in here. So we have four cores on both of these, and then here's a six core. Again, about $5 more, $6 more. And yes, it's slower, and its boost clock, its turbo, is pretty much what most of these are starting out on. But again, we're not really gonna be leveraging that much. The memory is faster than what this is. These have a graphics card embedded into it. Um, so we might not need that, but the whole issue is if we ever find any other issues, we still have a GTX 1050 that we can drop in here that originally we took out because we were using the ITX, um, ITX motherboard, which only allowed us one PCIe slot. And that's what the mini monitor is using now. So this is getting us a bigger motherboard so we can put extra, um, um, components in there if we need to. So technically, we still could get another to, um, 90, um, 94, um, a 3200G, or we could get a 2200G, but actually no, we wouldn't have to touch that at all. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, oh yeah, we were gonna get a 2200G because the available 1050 is in our live streaming system and the graphics card is really doing the heavy lifting for our live streaming. Um, the APU would allow us to free up our, um, actually, I don't need to do that. I have a, oh, if I can get it, I have a 1030 here that I could use. So I don't have to touch that other system. So that just saves, that saves up some stuff here. So. I can go with <sighs> so I can go with this the 2200G and that would give us some better performance I still want the more cores but the only thing we're running on there is ProPresenter so whatever it's not like ProPresenter is going to eat up that much anyway so let's go ahead and add that instead And we have a more current motherboard so it can last us a little bit longer. Um, we're gonna keep the 3200G in our, this system, but this 2200G is gonna go in our live streaming system, which will, why am I doing that again? Yeah, I don't need to do that because we're using the, yeah, I just, <laughs> I completely just forgot why I did that. So anyway, we're gonna do this, but now, because we already have a card, so if it was a graphics card issue, we can offload onto this, which is fine. And then what we're gonna do is, let's free up some of the hard drives and let's get that out of here, because I still have this extra SSD here that I'm gonna use for storage for media, for announcements and stuff that we load up. But I'm gonna go ahead and try and drop it NVMe in here as well. And we're gonna do a 512 gigabyte NVMe. 
and we're gonna get this silicone power here, which I like. I've used, I use those in my personal systems as well. And we're looking good here. Now, worst case scenario, if we had to add another processor and all this other stuff, um, I would go with, and let me just fill that all out. I don't know why I <laughs> wasted y'all's time with that. But let's go ahead and add this chip in here because this is the one I would go, oh, it's not even from um, Newegg. And the only other thing we need is um, power. And honestly, I would want to get a um, semi-modular. That way we won't have all these extra cables all over the place. And that Cooler Master case has a basement so it can hide the cables. So it doesn't really matter. I really guess I don't really need a, a fancy type of modular power supply. I'll just, just do a... 500 watt power supply All right, and I'm a big fan of EVGA so I would go with this one boom and we're still going to be using the mini monitor so we still have our two outputs here so we should be good I think this one does support both so that is fine so Pretty much what we're looking at right now um, without having to do anything super major we're looking at right around um, $350 um, so I think that'll be good what I'm gonna do is go ahead and um, get the approval to order this and then we're gonna go ahead and build this out and it's Tuesday so um, I might need to put in some two-day delivery and see if I can get it here by Thursday and that way we can have everything in place for Sunday I think I'm probably gonna do that or even push it to three day as long as it's guaranteed to be here by Friday um, I would have enough time to turn that around so I think we're good I'm gonna go ahead and do that and when I order this I will bring y'all along and we will make a build of this so um, not, not super duper exciting, but again, I'm just showing you the process of if I have a computer issue, what I need to do to fix it and repair it, and we're going to build out a new one. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos, especially the one when we actually build this system. So this is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.